Hello everybody and welcome back to the SQL course. Today we will be talking about the insert into keyword and its uses. Let's get right into it. The main purpose for insert into is to insert rows into a table. You could do insert into table name values and then whatever values to add values to the table in general or you could do insert into table columns values and then whatever values to add values to specific columns in a table. Let's look at some examples. Let's say a new student got added to the school and he is an 11th grader. The way the school would add him to the database is by using an insert into statement such as this one. Insert into students then using the keyword values followed with the information from left to right the same way as it is in the table. Student ID, first name, last name, grade level, and zip code. If the school entered Jones then Bucky the database would have taken Jones as the first name. So here, Bucky Jones is added to the table. Let's say the school got a transfer student from a different country and they needed to test him before solidifying his grade level. Also, let's say he isn't in the US yet. In this case, he wouldn't have a grade level or a zip code. If the school still wanted to add him to the database, they would do so using this kind of insert statement. Insert into students, the student ID, first name, and last name using the values 123455, five, Bucky, and Jones. The grade level and zip code part for this row would remain null until more information was added. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this SQL tutorial video. Hope to see you next time. And all credit for the slide template goes to Slides Carnival.